Are your eyes bothering you? Not just the occasional dryness or redness, but regular discomfort and irritation that can get in the way of living your normal life? You may have meibomian gland dysfunction or evaporative dry eye. Think about the treatments you've tried in the past to get some relief. And think about the compromises you have to make every day and the lifestyle issues you face. Maybe you can't wear contact lenses or have to limit your computer time. Even just reading a book or enjoying a breezy spring day may be out of the question. Does any of this sound familiar? If so, you should know that eye experts have recently made great strides in understanding evaporative dry eye. And with the introduction of the breakthrough technology in the LipiFlow system, your doctor can now treat a leading cause of dry eye, in most cases making the discomfort, inconvenience, and limitations of evaporative dry eye a thing of the past. Your tears are made up of three layers. The mucin layer that adheres to the eye, the aqueous or water layer, and the lipid or oil layer, which lubricates and prevents evaporation. The lipid layer is created by meibomian glands in the eyelid. When you blink, pressure is put on the glands and lipids are released. New technology allows your doctor to view the tear film, seen as a dynamic color pattern on the surface of the eye. This is really a new step in the direction of assessing the quality of someone's tears. The lip view takes detailed images of your tear film during a non-invasive in-office exam. The lip view allows us to document over time uh, an evaluation of the tear film. Until now, much of the focus of dry eye treatment has been on supplementing the tear film with the use of drops and ointments. However, 65% of patients with dry eye symptoms actually suffer from evaporative dry eye, a real disease that could worsen if left untreated. Evaporative dry eye disease is most often caused by meibomian gland dysfunction, a blockage or obstruction in the meibomian glands, which can lead to a lipid deficiency in the tears. This blockage causes symptoms such as watering, gritty feeling in eyes, and itching. If left untreated, blocked glands can stop functioning altogether. With the breakthrough LipiFlow system, your doctor now has a new way to treat the cause of meibomian gland dysfunction or evaporative dry eye. Examination of the meibomian gland openings in your eyelid will help your doctor to determine if you are a good candidate for the LipiFlow treatment. If so, you can take advantage of this technology by receiving treatment right in your doctor's office. In a clinical study, an improvement on average in the gland secretion and dry eye symptoms was observed at both two and four weeks after a single LipiFlow treatment. Unlike warm compresses, the LipiFlow system applies a combination of heat from the inside of the lid near the meibomian glands and gentle pressure on the outside of the lid. This precise combination of heat and pressure is designed to liquefy and remove blockages in the glands, which may improve dry eye symptoms. Lipiflow is entirely different from any other treatment we've had before for meibomian gland disease because it gives exactly the treatment that's needed right where it's needed. What we're achieving with the Lipiflow is applying the heat very precisely to that area that needs it the most. In a clinical study at four weeks after treatment, 79% of patients reported improvement in dry eye symptoms. My eyes were an increasing problem for me that was handicapping me to just actually enjoy life because my head, my whole head was involved in this heavy aching feeling that I had. Uh, there are days I go by, I don't need my eye drops, but there are days when my head feels absolutely normal. It's a matter of reclaiming hours of my life. I work in um, insurance sales, and I would have to do client visits, in which I would have to present a illustration system to them and teach them how to do it. Walking into someone's office and looking red and irritated and not healthy um, wasn't the best thing for my career. Um, I also, um, just driving home from work after being in an office all day and having to come out into the light, um, it would burn to the point where I couldn't go anywhere without sunglasses. Um, I was tearing constantly. I couldn't wear my contacts. 
So now I'm back to being active. I can run, I can bike ride, I can, I have a set, uh, eight year old now. Um, I can do all the things that I want to do with him, go to amusement parks and water parks and all that other stuff. Um, I couldn't do you know, a lot of that before. So I'm able to do client visits, I can wear makeup, I can, you know, it's changed my life, it really has. And we finally have a treatment that can be done as an outpatient in the physician's office, delivered by the physician and their assistants, uh, to give patients a meaningful improvement uh, in their disease. With the introduction of LipaFlow technology, effective treatment of evaporative dry eye is possible. This treatment is going to revolutionize the management of these patients. Patients that really are quite desperate from a process that has developed over the past several decades, where we just really have not had effective treatment to offer them until now. Visit LipaFlow.com for more information or talk to your doctor about your symptoms and ask for a Lipiflow brochure. It could be the first step on your journey toward breakthrough relief. The Lipiflow system is used by your doctor for the application of localized heat and pressure therapy in adult patients with chronic cystic conditions of the eyelid, including meibomian gland dysfunction, MGD, also known as evaporative dry eye or lipid deficiency dry eye. The Lipiflow system is a prescription device. Federal law restricts the device to sale by or on the order of a licensed doctor. You are not a candidate for Lipiflow if you have experienced any of the following conditions within the last three months eye surgery, eye injury, herpes of the eye or eyelid, or history of chronic eye inflammation. You are also not a candidate if you have an active eye infection, eye inflammation, eyelid irregularity, or eye surface irregularity. Tell your doctor if you have a history of eye allergies, eyelid inflammation, systemic disease that causes dry eye, or are taking medications known to cause dryness. The device may not fit all eyes, such as small eyelid anatomy. In addition, the treatment procedure may loosen previously inserted punctal plugs, which may worsen dry eye symptoms. Possible adverse events that may occur as a result of the treatment procedure include, but are not limited to the onset of or increase in eyelid or eye pain requiring discontinuation of the treatment procedure, redness and or swelling of the eyelid or eye surface, irritation of the eye surface, inflammation of the glands in the eyelid, sty in the eyelid, slight worsening of eyelid gland blockage, and eye symptoms of dryness, redness, burning sensation, stinging, tearing, itching, discharge, foreign body or sticky sensation, eye fatigue, hazy or blurred vision, and sensitivity to light. Potential serious adverse events that are not anticipated because the device is designed to prevent occurrence include thermal injury to the eye or eyelid, physical pressure induced injury to the eyelid, and eye surface infection. The LipaView Ocular Surface Interferometer is an eye imaging device used by your doctor and adult patients to take digital pictures or images of the tears on the surface of the eye, known as the tear film. The images show a color pattern from light reflected off the tear film, called specular interferometric observations. Using the LipaView Interferometer, your doctor can view, monitor, manipulate, store, and document the tear film images. The LipaView Interferometer is a prescription device. Federal law restricts the device to sale by or on the order of a licensed doctor. There are no known contraindications or potential adverse side effects associated with the use of the LipaView Interferometer. Prior to taking images of your tear film, advise your doctor if you have used eye drops recently, worn contact lenses, used oil-based cosmetics around your eye, rubbed your eye, recently swam in a chlorinated pool, or are aware of any condition that affects your eye surface and the stability of your tears. These conditions may affect the imaging assessment of your tear film.